Hello and welcome to another video from Dan and Maisie at Furball Gaming. And this is the February Roundup. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the games that I've been playing in February. Just a very quick video, um, just like my January roundabout, um, roundabout, roundup. I've just finished the January one so I'm now going to do the February one. So let me just bring my stats up. Okay, so the top three of games that I have played in February this year. So the top one that I have played is actually one of my favourites. It was a big hit on Kickstarter a couple of years ago and they relaunched the game on Kickstarter again last year. Unfortunately I missed out on the Kickstarter. Um, I'm gutted because it's they released games that didn't go to retail and that is the Unstable Unicorns main game and I also picked up all of the expansions so in the app it just registers the main game um, for those of you who don't know Unstable Unicorns is a fast paced card game um, where you want to have a unicorn army the tagline is you kill your enemies with kindness you build a unicorn army you attack your friends and uh, because unicorns are your friends now um, the game is by a company called Tea Turtle. He makes a lot of cool t-shirts, um, so check him out. Um, I've, I will put the links in the comments. Um, my actual copy of Unstable Unicorns is currently with a friend at the moment, so I've only got the uh, the shell of the box. Um, but I thought that would be good enough just to show you for now. Um, so the so the February stats for this year is. Unstable Unicorns, I have played this game 12 times now. Um, we tend to play it a lot at work, um, as I'm slowly, slowly getting them to um, uh, to join the gaming ranks. And there goes Maisie. This is why you never work with animals. Um, yeah, she's just going to cut up next to the box. Okay, next up on my top three is actually a new game that was... I don't think it's, it's not released until the end of March, towards the end of March. However, I managed to pre-order it and grab it from Stoneware directly. It is, in fact, the wonderful game that is Wingspan. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know why this was a big hit. Um, it could be something to do with the mechanics, um, it could be the theme. It's about birds. It's a engine building bird game. Um, we really like it. Me and my wife play this quite a lot of times. Uh, we've even taken this round to friends. The components are really nice. I mean, if anything, Stone Mayer do know how to make a good game. Um, I do, yeah, we, we're constantly getting around the 75 to 80 mark. Um, no one has actually broken the 100 mark point mark yet. Um, that is on my to-do list. I got close. I think my top score is 85 points on this one so far. Um, and yeah, it's it's good fun. Um, we really enjoy it. Um, yeah, so that is Wingspan. I we have played this eight times so far in February, um, which is yeah. Um, oh, there goes Maisie again. Okay, next up is a game that is again is it's got a bit of a of a bird theme to it. It's actually based around a tree. Um, you have a big tree in the middle where you draw cards. It's a worker placement game where you build a city um, and you have to gather resources, build your engine to gather more resources. Um, it's, yeah, let's take a look. It is in fact Everdell. Everdell, it is a worker placement game for four people. Um, the idea is that you place your workers, get the resources, and you build up your city. Um, it's for anywhere from two to, like I said, it's two to four players. Um, it is a lot of fun. Um, I've played this quite a lot now, so I know it quite well. Um, even so much so that I'm actually beginning to remember some of the cards. So when somebody says to me, what does this do? I can then go, ah, that's all that does, that's what they need. Okay, you do this, you do this, you do this. So yeah, it's one of those games. I'm looking forward to the expansion when it comes out, the Pearlbrook expansion. Um, it left Kickstarter a couple of months ago. Um, I have actually backed it on the late pledge. Uh, I managed to find a link for it. And I'm hoping that 
it will add a lot to this game. I'm a little bit worried because the game really works nicely with four. Um, however, we do tend to run out of some of the resources sometimes. Um, mainly the points tokens towards the end of the game. But that's fine because I've got loads of tokens I can use uh, from other games. Um, yeah, again, the components are really nice. Um, yeah, it's just a really well made game. Um, so far, we have played this only five times in February. Um, and a lot of the times I'm playing these games, they're all with brand new players. So I go to a lot of gaming clubs, gaming events where I've got kind of like some of the top 10 games in from BGG um, and people really enjoy them. Uh, people love the look of Wingspan and they also love the look of the tree. When you get the tree out, it draws people's attention and they're like, ooh, what's that? That's pretty. Let's play. Um, yeah, so in February, I played 50 games. This is on top of the games I played in. This is not including the games I played in January. Um, I played 24 different games out of those 51, 50 plays. Um, so, so far, yeah, it's looking pretty good on track for my 700 games um, played this year. Um, I'm probably going to increase it to 1,000, um, but I thought 700 was a realistic figure. Um, so far in March, I've only played five times. That's quite depressing, really. Um, I had a games day today at my house uh, where we played, we played, uh, what did we play? Heavy Hitters. We also played Wingspan. We played Doctor Who Flux. And there was one more we played, but I can't remember what it was called now. Um, yeah, ah, it was Tiny Epic Galaxy, just as a small quick filler game. Anyway, that is my February roundup. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like to stay up to date, then please like, comment, share, follow, subscribe, and also click the notifications button to stay up to date with what I'm doing. Um, thank you for watching uh, from Dan and Maisie, and happy gaming!